here and I um, we're going to be working out of the week five packet that you see here the one that says May and week five and the reading assessment in that packet is the little elephant makes music so listen to the story and then we will start with the questions here we go. Once upon a time in a, in a small, quiet village, a little elephant was born. When the little elephant was still young, he liked banging to things together. Everyone said, you make too much noise. His father would tell him, little elephant is trying to make music. One night, all the villagers came together around a small campfire. The oldest elephant, who was little elephant's grandfather, said, a long time ago, the people in this village liked to dance and play music. It's time Little Elephant learned to play the drums. The next day, Little Elephant's grandfather told him, We will go on a long walk to the river, away from the village. At the river, grandfather showed Little Elephant how to play the drums. Use the sticks to go tap, tap, tap. His grandfather started to play the drums. Little Elephant tapped his drums too. He used sticks to go tap, tap, tap to the beat of Grandfather's drums. Grandfather smiled. Back at the village, Little Elephant played his drums inside his hut every morning. Every afternoon, he sat under a tree and played his drums. One night, Little Elephant brought his drums to the campfire. All the villagers listened to him play. He was good. Everyone started dancing and singing along to the tap, tap, tap of Little Elephant's drum. Okay, now let's go ahead and go to the first question. Here we are. So put your finger right here on the apple. And the first question is, what is the setting in the beginning of the story? So what is the setting? Remember, where is this happening? Is it happening in a village? Is it happening at the river or a campfire? Remember, at the beginning of the story, where's the setting at the beginning? Village, river, campfire. Move your finger to the bird. Which picture shows the setting where grandfather teaches little elephant to play the drum? So where's the place that grandfather taught? little elephant the drums? Is it under a tree? Is it by a river? Is it inside of a hut? Where did grandfather teach little elephant to play the drums? Now move your finger to the card. Which picture shows the setting at the end of the story? What? Where is, where is the end of the story happening at? Is it a quiet village at night? A noise, uh, the noisy inside of a hut, or a campfire at night with music. Where is the setting at the end of the story? Once you're done with that one, go ahead and grab your next sheet, which looks like this, and put your finger on the apple. Here we are. Put your finger on the apple. Now you're going to circle the word after I repeat it. Which word here at the top, the top row, which word says were, were, which word says were, we were at the store today. Go to the bird. Which word here says back, back. I cannot wait until we can go back to school and move your finger to the car. Which word says let? L -e -t. Let. Which word says let? Now to the chair. Choose the word that says shop. 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 We have to go to the shop to buy new shoes, shop, the shoe shop. 
All right, when you're done with that one, let's get the next page that looks like this. Has a number four at the bottom. Put your finger on the fish. And choose the word that says sham. Sham. My pillowcase has a sham. Sham. No, the next one, move, put your finger on the flower. Choose the word that says chap. Chap. Which one of those words says chap? My lips feel as if they have been chap. They are chap. Chap. And the last one, put your finger on the hand. Choose the word that says chill. Which word says chill? We made our own popsicles and now they are in the freezer to chill. Chill. Which word says chill? All right. Thank you, everybody. Remember, don't forget to take a picture of your papers and send them to your teacher. Thank you.